Benjamin is on the line in California, and if this is, is this Benjamin from Good Men Do Something? It is. Hey. Hey. Welcome back to Free Talk Live. Now, you are, and your brother, uh, were arrested, uh, what was it, like a year and a half ago, two years? How long ago was it? It was, were, it was ten months ago. Ten, ten months, months ago. ago. You were arrested for holding up a sign, attaching a sign to a highway overpass that read taxes equals theft, if I'm recalling correctly, and also for wearing a mask in public. You were wearing the V for Vendetta uh, mask, and that was what initially, allegedly, had, the, the cops had stopped and talk to you for they ended up dropping the mask charges if i if i'm recalling correctly but you still were facing a charge of uh affixing a sign in public or something like that tell me what's going on yeah well uh, uh a few things have changed since our initial arrest where we were we were rich, initially arrested for wearing the mask then they added on the charge about the sign um since then they had they dropped the charge of the mask because it was ridiculous but they added on a resisting charge, and then this Friday uh, we actually got a trial date. Uh, we're going to be having our trial on the 3rd of April, nearly a year after it happened. Um, but they dropped the sign charge, so now all we're facing Unbelievable. Is Wait, so resisting what? If there's no sign charge and there's no mask charge, they threw in a resisting? And w- what are they basing that charge on? Uh, the subsection is uh, like uh, resisting or obstructing an officer in the course of their investigation. You know, yep. one of those a weird things. Right? Basically, so, if you don't uh, drop to your knees with your hands over your head, you've no, resisted if, them. If you drop point. to your knees, that's that's resisting, too. You can't do anything that they don't want you to while you're being arrested. Everything's resisting. Benjamin, hang on. I want to bring you back here and talk about this because it seems like fruit of the poison tree. You know, they're arresting you for something they shouldn't have arrested you for. Obviously, they dropped the charges. More coming up. This is Free Talk Live. This is Free Talk Live, and you can join us on our website over at freetalklive.com. We've got a lot of features that we give to you, including the mobile site. Those of you with a smartphone can go to m, as in mobile, dot freetalklive.com, and that's where you'll get quick access to our live streams, as well as the software you need for your phone to tune them in. In addition to that, you'll also have access to our podcast over at m, as in mobile, dot freetalklive.com. If you're looking for camping, hunting, survival, or shooting gear, ManVentureOutpost.com's got everything that you need over there. Everything that the outdoors person might be interested in, whether it's knives, ammunition, scopes, binoculars, laser sights, tactical flashlights, fish finders, boating equipment, everything. ManVentureOutpost.com. They're they're family-owned and members in good standing of the Better Business Bureau. The prices they have over there, um, you know, every business needs a unique selling proposition, and ManVentureOutposts.com is value. They provide you the big names and the products you want quickly at rates that are incredibly low, so much lower than you, you would expect uh, at other, these other sites. I have friends of mine who've gone over there and shopped, and they're big consumers of outdoor products, and they've been very impressed with the prices. You can get an additional 5% off with coupon code FTL at manventureoutpost.com. Get it quick. Get it from manventureoutpost.com. All right, so let's continue here. Benjamin is with us uh, from Good Men Do Something, and I presume also Good Women uh, Do Something as well, but the site's called Good Men Do Something. Uh, Benjamin, you're back on Free Talk Live. You are updating us with your case, or their case against you, rather, where you and your brother were arrested for holding a sign or putting a sign up on an overpass while you were there. It's not like you were just leaving it there. Uh, You were standing there the whole time waving at people, and you had a V, V for Vendetta masks on, and the cops stopped you, and there's video for Footage actually of this. Where's the place people can go to eas- easily see the video of uh, this happening? Well, actually, uh, we have new video that we got uh, over the weekend. We finally got access to our phones and our camera that were taken as evidence. Ten months ago. Um, you finally got them <laughs> ten yeah. months later. Justice's well, we terrible swift back. sword. We don't have them back. We were just granted a t- temporary access so we could uh, oh. take the information off the phone. Great. How oh, um, nice. But we got new footage, uh, which actually gives a, a better view of things. Um, but if uh, actually that's some good news. A lot's changed over the weekend for us because now uh, we actually have a blog thanks to uh, fr33agents.com. I was uh, I so. had heard about that happening. Now fr33agents.com actually lets anybody who loves liberty uh, have their own blog, and it's a WordPress blog, so it's a real blog site. I mean, it's a ser- it's your own blog site through free agents. And uh, so, where do people go to to, uh, to get that? 
They could just go to goodmendosomething.org, and it will take them straight there. Perfect. Perfect. So and then uh, once you're there, you can go to our YouTube channel, uh, which will have all the videos. So you're just there doing some outreach. You were waving at cars. You thought, hey, you know, this is an important message to get out. Taxes equals theft is what the sign said. A humongous sign. Great sign for an overpass. And they, uh, the cops didn't like that very much. So they stopped to not only, you know, threaten you, but also argue with you. They, they were debating with you over the merits of your idea, essentially uh, not agreeing with you that it was theft, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the one officer was there just couldn't let that go. He wanted to argue with us about the content of our sign. Yeah. So he was disturbed about the message, and they he, they made that pretty clear during the interaction. You know, they'll often say that they can't make political statements on camera and that kind of thing, that, uh, you know, they're on duty and, and that, that sort of thing. Hey, keep it to yourself then, pal. So they arrested you for wearing masks and affixing a sign to public property. They ended up dropping both of those charges, but added at some point a charge of resisting arrest. Is this a misdemeanor resisting arrest? It's a, it's a misdemeanor resisting. So are you looking at jail time? One year and $1,000. Now, again, what's it based on? What's the claim that you did? Well, uh, to the best of our knowledge, so that's what's been told to us, uh, the, the, uh, the reason for it, the reason for the obstructing slash resisting charge is because we didn't have IDs in our pocket. What? And therefore, we delayed the officers in their investigation. Wow. Welcome Shouldn't they have a charge for not having an ID in your pocket if that's what the concern is? There's no such thing. Hmm. Wow. So, so you're, you're going to be uh, fighting this no. in court? Wow. Is there a law that you have to have an ID in your pocket in California? Uh, apparently. There's, no, no. Nope. We're not, a, we're not a, a, a state where you have to possess ID. So now, now, this, this gets into something I think you guys were talking about earlier with police lying. Because in the police report, they try to say that they offered to take us to our vehicle so we could get our IDs, because that's where we keep our IDs, is mm-hmm. in our car where we're required to have them. Sure. The, I mean, and, you're not driving the sidewalk. Why would you have driver's <laughs> licenses on the sidewalk? Absolutely. Um, so in the police report, it says that they offered to take us to our vehicle um, so we could get our IDs, and we refused. So they had to arrest <laughs> us so they could identify us. But You've seen the video, and we have transcripts and all that stuff. They never once, I mean, we already knew it, but we have evidence of it. They never once offered to take us to our vehicle. So they if you have the opportunity fact, to... Our vehicle never even came up. Now, you've got a lawyer for this instance, right? Correct. Now, you, they've dropped both the uh, fixing the sign charge and the wearing the mask charge, which are the original charges, and they've just got you on resisting at this point, and they have you for resisting because you didn't have IDs in your pockets, and they claim that they were going to take you to your cars to get your ID, that they offered to take you to the car to get the ID, but you have video, and that's what this is all about, really, and the video doesn't show them doing such a thing. Will you be pursuing a... Um, a charge of uh, you know false arrest or something like that, if uh, if that is available. You know, at, one thing at a time. Right now, we're just focused on on beating this charge. After that, I, you know, I said in the video that I, I personally would we would try to hold each of those officers accountable. Um, I don't know exactly what I'll be able to do, but I do intend to follow through with that. Man. Do you know when um, your Do you know when your court date is, Benjamin? It's April, it's April third. Uh, okay. So following. I imagine people that are following your blog at goodmendosomething.org, was it? Yep. Okay. I imagine they'll be uh, kept apprised of the situation. Now, has the state uh, actors, have they been coming to you with uh, plea deal offers? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, the first plea deal we were offered was if we lied and say we uh, dropped, and this was their example, a paper clip. Say we dropped a paper clip, they would reduce our charges to littering. Uh, and waive the fine, and, uh, you know, it, it would be, a, a, whatever, a violation-level thing, and it wouldn't be on our record. No big deal. What? Um, so they're, so then, they're willing to, to just, they just want to get a guilty of littering. They'll, they'll, they're they'll saying no fine, and all the other charges are dropped, and then you can walk away from this. That was their initial offer. Since then, it's been plead guilty to resisting, and they'll waive all the fines, and we'll just have to pay the court fee. Which is what, hundreds of dollars? How much is a court fee in California? Several hundred dollars, yeah. Several hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the specific amount is. Cause, Would you have had to pay court fees on the first plea deal? Uh, I, I have no idea. Huh. 
You know, um, it's it's. I wonder why they want the guilty so bad. Is it just? I mean, because they could make this go away if they wanted to. But you guys seem tenacious to them. I mean, is the no? Concern... It makes the prosecutor's record look good when he's got more guilty. Come on, the, anybody looks at the prosecutor's record for making for dropping charges? I mean, tri- charges get dropped all the time. This isn't about you know, I, his record. I have no, uh, you know, no evidence of anything in particular. Uh, my suspicion is that uh, the DA's office is being pressured by local law enforcement agencies to uh, being perturbed at, at what we do. I know you guys are that's, talking that's about, once this is over, coming up to New Hampshire, you're part, you're, you've already joined the Free State Project, if I'm recalling correctly, at freestateproject.org. You're coming to join the, the liberty activists here. I get wanting to like hold these people accountable, but isn't that just going to keep you in California longer and subject you to more possible arrests and retaliation from the people inside the system? You know, I have no idea, but I, I made it. I made kind of a promise, and I intend to keep it. I don't know what that will entail. I don't know if that means we're stuck here. Um, so it's either that, or you're going to have to go back and fly back several times to go to court hearings. Right. So, so, so I, let's see. I don't know. And how much have you poured in, by the way, in attorney's fees on this so far? So far, just just a retainer. Which uh, is luckily we had been saving to move to New Hampshire, so uh, we were we were able to. Uh, put down money for a retainer for a lawyer. How much have you put in? Um, Several thousand dollars. Yeah, people want to know. Wow. People are going to want to know that. It's it's not cheap to uh, to hire attorneys, and I don't know if it's ever... I really don't know if it's worth it. I I have yet to be convinced. Do you feel that you've gotten your value out of the the attorney? Absolutely. Our attorney is fantastic. Great. Maybe you can bring him with you up here to New Hampshire, too. Hey, thanks for the update. Appreciate hearing from you, uh, Benjamin, and good luck out there. Keep us in the loop, will you? Absolutely. All right, Benjamin from GoodMenDoSomething.org. More coming up here, 855-450-FREE. That's 855-450-3733. This is Free Talk Live. 